Hello potential recruiters and employers from the pesticide industry. Welcome to my channel Pest Decides. In this video I will talk about the target site and mode of action of carbamate and organophosphate insecticide molecules in insects. Carbamates and organophosphate insecticides belong to the subgroups 1a and 1b respectively of group 1 in the insecticide resistance action committee classification some of the examples of the carbamate insecticides are benfiracarb carbofuron carbosulfon phenobucarb methomil and thiodicarb some of the examples of the organophosphate insecticides are acephate, chlorophyrifos, dimethoate, malathion, monocrotophos, oxydamatone methyl, fosalone, phentoate, and quinalphos. The target site for carbamate and organophosphate insecticide molecules is acetylcholine esterase enzyme present in the insect nerve synopsis and it acts by inhibiting this acetylcholinesterase enzyme now i will explain these in detail taking a small portion of postsynaptic membrane containing the nicotinic acetylcholin receptor and cation channel as shown in the rectangular box what you see here is nicotinic acetylcholin receptor and cation channel complex with acetylcholine molecule binding site in blue color triangle spinosin molecule binding site in pink color pentagon and hxtx peptide molecule binding site in bluish green color irregular circle the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor and cation channel complex is a hetero pentamer that means it is made up of five subunits of at least two types it is in inactivated state or closed state the green color triangles are acetylcholine molecules which are present in a vesicle and these vesicles are located in the presynaptic nerve ends the yellow circles are sodium ions now i will explain how the nerve impulse is transmitted at the nerve synopsis this is already explained in a different video uploaded but i will explain it again when the nerve impulse reaches the presynaptic membrane the vesicles containing the acetylcholine molecules are moved forward and reach the presynaptic membrane then the vesicles membrane fuses with the presynaptic membrane and the acetylcholine molecules are released into the synopsis. These acetylcholine molecules travel across the synopsis and reach the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor and cation channels located in the postsynaptic membrane and bind to the acetylcholine binding site. As a result, the cation channel is activated and due to the change in the conformation of the channel the ion pore opens and the sodium ions influx takes place that means from the synapsis space into the cytosol as a result the postsynaptic membrane depolarizes and the action potential is generated this results in the nerve impulse transmission across the synopsis into postsynaptic membrane once the nerve impulse is transmitted the presynaptic membrane releases the acetylcholine esterase enzyme into the synopsis the occupying of the acetylcholine molecules present in the synopsis as well as a bound to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor of the acetylcholine esterase enzyme catalytic site results in the breaking down of acetylcholine molecules into acetic acid and choline molecules the degradation or breaking down of the acetylcholine molecule bound to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor inactivates the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor cation channel uh, and subsequent changes in the 
conformation of the channel closes the ion pore and influx of the sodium ions stops this and other simultaneous events repolarize the post synaptic membrane and the resting membrane potential is restored and the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor and cation channel be ready for the next impulse transmission now i will explain the mode of action of carbamate and organophosphate insecticide molecules in insect nervous system when carbamate or organophosphate insecticide molecules are sprayed on insects they enter the insect body and reach the nerve synapses in the insect nervous system and compete with the acetylcholine molecules for the catalytic site of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme and occupy the acetylcholinesterase enzyme catalytic site and inhibit its function of breaking or degrading the acetylcholine molecules present in the nerve synapses as well as bound to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor this keeps the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor cation channel complex remain in open state or activated state for a longer period than usual which results in the continuous influx of the sodium ions and the post synaptic membrane depolarizes continuously resulting in the repetitive nerve firing and exhaustion of the nerves this repetitive firing of the insect and nerves results in hyper excitation convulsions tremors and paralysis and finally the insect control competition of carbamate insecticide molecule with the acetylcholine molecule for the catalytic site of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme and binding to it is known as carbamylation of acetylcholinesterase enzyme and this inhibits the function of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme for at least 15 to 20 minutes then the carbamate molecule of comes off catalytic site of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme which is known as a reversal similarly competing of the op that means organophosphate insecticide molecule with the acetylcholine molecule for the catalytic site of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme and binding to it is known as phosphorylation of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme this inhibits the function of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme for at least 24 hours that means one day and then the op molecule comes off which is known as a reversal